Hello everyone and welcome! In this video I'm going to be talking about a V10 engine. Now there are several companies out there that have used them. The Dodge Viper, Lexus LFA, uh, Ford and BMW also have used V10 engines. So let's talk a little bit about how they work as well as what the advantages and disadvantages of them are. So here I have my drawing of a V10 engine block. Uh, if we're going to figure out the firing interval we just take the strokes, multiply that by 180 degrees, divide by the number of cylinders, that gives us a firing interval of 72 degrees, so quite a bit of overlap in a V10 engine, so you're going to have good, smooth power delivery. Uh, so in the Lexus LFA, they actually use a 72 degree uh, split in the V, and that's just done so that they can have an even firing interval. You can use uh, different splits, like the Dodge Viper, I believe, is a 90 degree, and there are different degrees that you can use. You can either change the firing order, or you can use a split journal crank, which I explained in my video on V6s if you'd like to learn more about that. So, checking out the firing order, this is for a Ford or a BMW V10, so 1, 6, 5, 10, 2, 7, 3, 8, 4, 9, 1 through 5 on the left, 6 through 10 on the right. Now, when you're balancing this, uh, basically it's a lot like an inline five-cylinder engine. So the primary and secondary forces are balanced. Uh, you may want to check that video out. And but there is that rocking moment left to right. So uh, V10s could use one or two balancing shafts in order to help balance that moment that's created. For example, if you use a 90-degree V10, uh, you can have the two balancing shafts, which actually cancel one another out when they're not canceling the moment, so you don't have that additional vibration. So that could be a good way of doing it for, uh, from a vibration standpoint. Now here I've just drawn basically the crankshaft, so as that uh, piston rotates, the crank rotates 72 degrees, you'll see top dead center here, so the counterweight is directly 180 degrees from that. And then as it rotates another 72 degrees when this piston is at top dead center and fires, then it'll be 180 degrees from that, so those forces will balance out. So, pros and cons of a V10 engine. Much like the inline five-cylinder primary and secondary vertical forces are well balanced. Uh, now, the engineers behind the LFA said the reason they went with a V10 was because they could get it to rev higher than a V8, uh, but it had less reciprocating mass than a V12. Also, uh, you can have larger displacement in a V10 engine than, you know, smaller cylinder counts. Uh, and then also, if you want to use smaller displacement in a V10 engine, then you can have it rev mesh higher with that less rotational inertia and the smaller pistons. So either way, you can have more power, you know, with more cylinders like this. Now, some of the disadvantages of a V10 engine, well, you have to have the counter shaft or counter shafts for balancing out that moment. Uh, the V12 is smoother and not all that more complex versus the V8 is less complex and uh, cheaper and so those are two options you know that may work for whatever you're trying to accomplish. Also the size and cost of it, uh, large engine and very expensive. Any questions or comments feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.